And now one week into our expedition along the frontier in, <clears throat> between French Guiana and Brazil. And I'm lying in my hammock, resting my feet, which are falling apart. Um, we're leaving later today because there's an extraction by helicopter of one of the troop of French foreign legionaries who dislocated his shoulder, falling over, carrying a very heavy pack yesterday and has to be sent home. Um, it's a challenging expedition. It's very, very tough. We're all carrying over 30 kilos on our back. We're walking in the rainy season over very quite mountainous terrain, very slippery ground, dense forest. And the idea is to, to explore the region and from my perspective, botanically, to collect plants, understand the vegetation better and to carry out some analyses of the composition of the forest. Uh, there's 20 of us. Uh, there are f there's a French geographer, François-Michel Latourneau, and me, we're the scientists of the expedition. A um, Brazilian uh, field assistant and then the rest are um, of the French Foreign Legion, so there are 20 of us in all, and it's a very multinational trip. The French, English, of course, Brazilian, Colombian, Madagascan, Russian, Bulgarian, Serb, uh, and a number of other countries. So it's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. And um, we, we spent the first two days going up river by boat with some Wayana boatmen who are excellent on the rapids and then after that we we set off by foot and the the regime is you know we we get up at 5 30 Ravelli and then um, we leave at 6 45 and we walk until about 4 30 5 o'clock in the evening camp and to be honest there's very very little time to be doing botanical collecting it's quite a challenge I'm grabbing things along the way and making records as, as well as I can with uh, GPS and um, photography and and collecting the specimens. And uh, actually, I think my specimens can go out by air with the, the wounded um, man today, which is, for me, it's quite a good thing because it means I've got less to carry for the next day or two, well, actually, for the next eight days until we get to a place where things can be taken out by helicopter. It's fantastic forest, huge trees, uh, you know, totally unspoiled. It's the edge of the Amazon, and uh, it's very little known botanically, so there's a great deal to be discovered. And I'm hoping uh, that uh, we will. So, uh, and actually, a couple of interesting things along the way. One of the things that we're doing is looking for. Um, for signs of human habitation here before, and some of those are um, traditional archaeology, and we've come across two caves where there are pottery shards that show that people have lived here before. But also there are clues in the vegetation, there are certain trees that people would have collected the fruits of and that therefore become more abundant around their habitation. And uh, we found evidence of this, including around the sites where there were pottery shards. So this, it seems to uh, suggest that there is a correlation. <clears throat> this problem with my feet is actually quite serious. It's, um, it's a combination of abrasion, fungal infection, and I'm not sure what else. It uh, basically means most of the skin's coming off around the toes and under the toes and around the edges of my feet. Incredibly painful to walk. So that, fortunately we're travelling with a doctor and two medical orderlies who are looking after me very well. And they've given me uh, painkillers, antibiotics, cream, powder, bandage. Um, and I hope that it might get better in the next day or two. But um, really that... That's, uh, that's more likely if we rest, and we can't rest because we have to keep moving. In fact, if we don't keep moving, we won't have any food. There's a drop of food uh, probably two days' march ahead of us, 
and uh, we will have run out in two days so so we have to keep going um, so the painkillers are pretty handy yeah, we'll see